hit a home run with this dominant run out of the shotgun bunch formation. Coming up next. Full Game Prometheus, the only YouTuber that shows you full games of all the tips and schemes I post on my channel. I'll show you the good, the bad, and the ugly. So guys, you know my channel, make sure you subscribe button. Also that notification icon so you can never miss an upload. So guys, I am uh, back in uh, the lab. Uh, working out of the bunch formation, uh, I don't use a lot of gun bunch um, in my gameplay. I, I know it's a, it's probably the most popular formation to get used online. Uh, but I went went in the lab. I started uh, labbing around, and I stumbled on the counter Y out of the gun bunch formation, and I discovered that this is probably one of the better blocking um, formations in the game, and it's going to allow you to get a lot of home run plays because the blocking gets the second level, uh, and it basically, and if you get past the person person's user, um, you're going to essentially go ahead and get a, get a, a, a one play touchdown. So very, very dominant run play. You give yourself some pretty good yards with it, and it's a, the counter Y. Not a very common play. Counters historically have been dead this year, uh, but I, I maybe because of patches, so many patches, I've discovered that this play is a very effective run play, and it's out of the gun bunch. Now, you can find this in the Jets, but you can also find this in the Spreads, the Titans, the Eagles, uh, the Giants, the Saints, the Patriots, Dolphins, the Jaguars, the Colts, the Cowboys, Panthers, and Bills. So you've got uh, well over 10, 12 books that actually have this. So you might want to go, go in the lab and check it out because it's very easy to run. And I'm just going to run against random 34 defenses. All right, so uh, this is a really good front to work against. So you can see that right now it's green because the majority of the defenders are off on the right-hand side. Now what I like to do is I like to take the outside receiver, uh, Perryman, and I'm going to go ahead and slide him off to the left, and then I'm going to snap the ball once he gets over or past the defending, defensive end on the far end left side over the left tackle. And the reason I do this is that it actually opens up additional lanes for me. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to run it up. Now, there's going to be some times where you're going to get some de defenders that are going to get some pen penetration. But what you'll see is that you're going to get uh, blocking downfield, which you typically don't get for a lot of other player uh, plays. And you're going to be able to go ahead and pop one for a big, uh, big uh, home run opportunity. So we're going to slide this guy over. We've got uh, safeties down in the box. Snap the ball. And as you can see right here, because the safeties came down, I've got this opportunity to go ahead and pick up some good yards. So in, while you're taking a look at this play, I just want to show you how the blocking just works very well. Now this is the Buccaneers. They don't have the best run blocking game. They don't really have the best uh, running game in the game, and they're going against one of the stoutest defenses in the game. So uh, why I slide this guy over is it gives me an extra blocker, and I know I've got the pulling guard who is really not that good. He's, I think he's like a 65 overall. Uh, and then I've got myself a, a fairly athletic and fast um, uh, tight end. But watch what happens. Uh, the pulling guard will actually go ahead and take on this, uh, this uh, uh, outside defender, allowing the tackles to go up and seal. And this pulling guard will actually go ahead and seal them off. So when I'm running the ball, I always want to try to run inside the guard. Uh, run inside the guard that's pulling and that's going to seal my blocking for me so you can see that there's basically there's essentially almost like two different holes but look at the blocking at the, at the next level so right here this this guy actually just takes takes out uh, the uh, the safety and then I've got a guard that actually takes out another defender and then I've got this guy right here taking out another defender and he's getting up very high he's he says he's in the next level He's about, you know, almost 15 yards off the line of scrimmage, allowing me to go ahead and have blocking where I could just kick this thing out, out bounds or out to the sideline and actually go and take it up to, to uh, the touchdown to the red zone. So what we're going to do is going to motion the guy over. I move the ball back a little bit so you can see uh, how this play develops when you've got a lot more yardage that you can go for. So you can see if I made one move against that one guy, that would have been house by cutting it back in. So what I do like about this particular play is that you're going to have pretty good consistent blocking. You can go inside, you can go outside. 
and you can see these guys are actually getting downfield they're getting to the second level so uh, you're going to be taking out those those high level defenders that are usually there to stop the home run play and you're going to get those opportunities so right here um, some pretty good block shit you occasionally get some people that are going to get in but for the most part i've seen seeing that the, the blocking is more consistent where i'm actually picking up some positive yards just because of the way it, it pulls oh, uh, Marpet didn't actually hold his block. He's sitting there dancing around sideways. So uh, I would recommend, guys, taking a look at this play, adding it to your playbook. This is going to be a, a, a two-part series for you guys um, on my YouTube channel. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you another offensive uh, offensive passing play that you can throw into the scheme that is almost practically almost unstoppable too. So uh, you can see right there some edge, edge defender came off. So once again, my subscribers, thank you for your support. If you do like these type of tips, go ahead and smash the like button. Once again, uh, thank you for your support, and until next time.